Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam by movement area method. The span of the beam is given as 6 meter. In this beam there is a point load 72 kN. It is acting at a distance of 2 meter from the left support. Also, there is a concentrated movement 360 kN. It is acting at a distance of 1 meter from the right support and it is in the clockwise direction. Now, from the point B about the point A, we are going to find the movements separately and draw the bending moment diagrams. We have to find the movement first due to RB and then by the movement MB and then by the concentrated movement 360 and finally by the concentrated load 72. We have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. 6 into RB we will get 6 RB and the diagram will be in the shape of a triangle. Now let us find the movement due to MB. Let us assume that MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The diagram will be in the shape of a rectangle. Now let us find the movement due to the concentrated movement 360. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it is also negative. We will have a rectangle. Now let us find the movement due to the load 72. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 2. 72 into 2 we will get 144. Let us keep this uh, diagram as number 1, this one as number 2, this one as number 3 and finally this one as number 4. Let us find area 1. We know that it is a triangle. We know the area formula of a triangle. Half into BH. Here the breadth is 6 and the height is 6RB. For area 1 we will get 18RB. Now let us find area 1 x1 bar. Area 1 we know that let us apply that. Let us find x1 bar. For this triangle the centroid distance towards the left is 1 upon 3 into breadth. Here the breadth is 6 so 1 upon 3 into 6. For area 1 x1 bar we will get 36 RB. Now let us find area 2. This is a rectangle. When we multiply 6 with the MB, we will get the area. We know that it is negative. Now let us find area 2, x bar 2. We know the area 2, let us apply that. Let us find x bar 2. We know that for the rectangle, the centroid lies in the center. When we divide the length 6 by 2, we will get the centroid distance. For area 2, x bar 2, we will get minus 18 MB. Now let us find area 3. When we multiply 360 with 5, we will get the area 3. Now let us find area 3 X bar 3. We know the area 3. Let us apply that. We know that for the rectangle, the centroid lies in the center. When we divide the distance 5 by 2, we will get the centroid distance. For area 3 x bar 3, we will get minus 4, 5, 0, 0. Now let us find area 4. We know that it is a triangle. We know the area formula of a triangle, half into BH. Here the breadth is 2 and the height is 144. For area 4, we will get minus 144. Now let us find area 4 x bar 4. We know the formula to find x bar 4. That is 1 by 3 into B. Here the breadth is 2. Let us apply that. For area 4 x bar 4, we will get minus 96. We know that area upon EA is equal to 0. Let us add all of the area values. 
then we can make this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 1. Also, we know that area x bar upon ei is equal to 0. Let us add all of the area x bar values. Then let us make this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 2. Now we can solve these two equations and get the values of Rb and Mb. For Mb, we will get a negative value. That means the assumed direction is incorrect. We assumed that Mb is acting in the clockwise direction, but actually it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. By applying the rule sigma v is equal to 0, we can find Ra. Let us take a moment about A and find the moment MA. Let us assume that it is acting in the clockwise direction. MB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it is also positive and the distance is 6. The moment 360 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The concentrated load is acting in the clockwise direction so it is also negative and the distance is true. MA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Finally for MA we will get a positive value that means the assumed direction is correct. MA is acting in the clockwise direction. Now let us find the shear force values. Using right hand side rule, we can find the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Now let us find the bending moment values. First let us find it in the point A. In the point A, we have MA which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. Now let us find the bending moment in the point C. MA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it is also positive and the distance is 2. For bending moment at C, we will get 32.666 to find the bending moment in the point B and in the point D. We can use a left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find the bending moment in the point B. In the point B, we have MB, which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. Let us find the bending moment at just to right of D. MB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it is also positive and the distance is 1. For the bending moment at just right of D, we will get this. To find the bending moment at just left of D, with this value, we have to add the concentrated moment 360. Since it is acting in the clockwise direction, it should be applied as negative. For the bending moment at just left of D, we will get this. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In this point, the bending moment becomes a 0. Let us make a section and find the distance. You can see that I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. And then we can find the value of x which is 2.47. Let us apply that. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.